So good evening and welcome. I'm Sensei Will Vanders. Us. I'm joined ringside by the man I like to call the guru, Chris Hookstra. We're coming live from Komenasti in Romania. Andre Sugar, Robert Constantine. Well, is there anything sweet about Andre Sugar? <laughs> the thing that me, I would say I'm most impressed by was his shit, but he gets clipped with a massive left. What a shot! It's a left hand and it's a knockdown! Will he make it? Whoa! The referee is giving him every opportunity, Will, but that looks like a done deal. Man, on Wobble Street and the referee has waved it off. Well, that's it. It's all over. That was a convincing shot from Robert Constantine. There. The head movement from Iftimawi has been very difficult to pattern for the Spaniard, and I think that's been one of the big differences in these exchanges. He's certainly eaten some shots. He's had to soak up some real heavy leather. But right now, I think that's been the difference, not only in his offense, but also his defense. It's really just a beautiful spectacle, the way he slips and rolls and bobs and weaves. Well, you've talked about offense and defense, but uh, Ian at Iftamawi is four-wheel drive here. He has got some traction on him, as much traction as a chieftain. He just keeps rolling on. And, uh, you know, I've never seen Lorenzo Jorge driven back like this. He's been on the back foot the whole way. He's soaked up punches. Really, Ian at Iftamawi is a man possessed here as he drives forward. Halfway through the third and final round, Jorge now looking fatigued. Got caught with a right hand there, but relentlessly standing, trading punches with Iftamawi. This is pound for pound, one of the best kickboxing outings I've ever seen and had the pleasure of reporting on. Jorge still throwing the leather, but it's Iftamawi landing the shot. This has been a testimony to the Spaniards' resilience, but I don't think anyone can disagree. This has been the swan song performance of a career from Ian at Iftamawi. The 10 second clap has gone. That's the bell. It's all over. And I don't think anyone can disagree. That was an impressive performance from Iftamawi and an indeed a belt winning performance. Chris. Iftamawi left his calling card in center ring with that one, Will. By no stretch of the imagination can there be any doubt of who walked away the winner there. It was a long road really to the top, Will. Never an easy journey. But the Romanian did it in style tonight. There were exchanges toe to toe. It was a fight in the phone booth through and through. Three rounds of furious kickboxing action. Two men came in it, both to win it, but there can only be one. Well, we need an official verdict, but I don't think we can be wrong in saying that tonight, Ianat Iftamawi will hang up his gloves, a winner. And just look at the smile. That's a smile that could light up the darkest nights and it certainly has done that here on the Galleon Hill of Komenesti, the hometown of Iftamawi. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a decision.